Good evening. It's been a beautiful, wonderful Sunday. Peaceful day. Reminds me of what God said. And on the seventh day he rested. I use Sunday as family day. Rest day. We kind of didn't do a whole lot today. Hadn't really felt too good today. Uh, sometimes can get my mind overloaded with things and don't really quite want to work too good. A little later during the video than I had wanted to today. I was going to do it earlier in the afternoon. But things didn't quite go the way I had anticipated. That's okay. Unexpected things happen sometimes. Uh, talking with the boys. I was talking to Brett and, Je and Jess about what I was going to talk about on this video tonight. And I got to thinking about, Brett's been talking lately about the garden and we've been just discussing all kinds of different, you know, making our budget, getting back on the budget, getting the budget lined up right. <laughs> and uh, a few things hit us this summer that we wasn't anticipating. But we recently invested in a, another vehicle, which we really needed because Jesse will be 16 soon and he'll get the truck. And we needed another vehicle that we could go places in. And so we got us an expedition, extended length expedition. And I went to the bank to get the loan for the expedition. And we got it in my name. And something I was thinking about, and it's really come full force to me in the last while, is the thought of the unexpected. The things that you don't expect to happen. A few years ago, my daughter wanted a cell phone. I went with her to get a cell phone. We, she wanted an expensive one, so we got one of those little contract things where she could get the cell phone and it paid for the cell phone and the plan all together. It wouldn't cost her much. Well, I knew she didn't have any credit. She was a high schooler. <laughs> you know. So I told her, I said, no big deal. We'll put it in my name. And I tell the guy, I gave the guy my information and someone I've known my whole life. I mean, it wasn't like he didn't know me. And he looked at me and said, Miss Cindy, you don't have any credit. I'm like, uh, it's a $200 cell phone. And he said, I can't sell it to you. And I'm like, I was denied the cell phone because I had no credit. I hadn't, I mean, we had a credit, I had a credit card in my name years ago when me and Brett first married, but I ain't had one in my name in, oh, probably 10 or 15 years. As a matter of fact, Brett and I, neither one have had a credit card in our name in, I don't know, 5, 10 years at least. You know, we got in too much credit card debt sliding them suckers, so we quit using them. Found that we were not responsible enough to, you know, my eyes at you tonight. Uh, we weren't responsible enough for credit cards, so we done away with them. And uh, I got denied. But of course, I mean, I ended up getting my daughter the phone anyways. We just used Brett's name, and it went under his name, and no big deal. And then I was like, wow, okay. I thought because my husband and I had everything jointly. I mean, we, our house, our house loan was in both our names. Uh, we had other loans to the bank in both our names. But the majority of the what later credit cards we had later in life, everything was in his name. That so much of our stuff was in his name that all our credit was in Brett's name. So I didn't really have any. And that opened my eyes. What would have happened had anything happened to Brett? I didn't even have enough money or enough credit to get a $200 cell phone. 
So I looked at him and I was like, we've got to fix this. So we got a small loan in my name. I, I go to the bank, and of course, the, our banks, like, Miss Cindy, you've always been on, on all the loans with Brett. We have no money to you. I'm like, I need credit in my name in case I have to do something different. So I got a loan in my name. Of course, Brett had to co-sign, which he enjoyed. He's like, yeah, I'll co-sign for you, honey. And then when it came time to buy this truck, I'm like, okay, I want to put this loan in my name, too. And they're like, no problem. And I'm like, don't he have to sign up? They say, no, it's, this is yours. And I finally was like, yay, I've made it. I had enough credit to buy my own vehicle. And I was just super ecstatic. But the loan officer later texted me and, and told me, which I've known her for years, she texted me and she told me, she said, you've got a good credit score. And I'm like, I looked at my husband and I went, I finally got a credit score. I was like, yay! <laughs> you know, but it's things that I never anticipated. I never thought about. How or what would I do if I was on my own? And I guess because I'm getting older, I'm thinking of things like that. Brett and I have actually discussed that a few times. What would we do if we were on our own? And how would we make it? And I thank God for the wisdom of it. Because it's only been in the last year or two that God has started opening my eyes to see that I can't depend on everybody else all the time. I have to be able to do things for myself. But at the same time, it's good to share a life with other people. So he's given me the wisdom, and I know that God is all, I mean, he's given me the comfort and peace of mind of knowing that he has me taken care of. It's just like this truck. I honestly didn't know how we was going to buy another truck, but we needed one. God provided. We just recently received a lawnmower as a gift from some friends. We were in need of a new lawnmower because ours was falling apart. God provided. And I praise Him. I'm learning to garden with Brett this year. I don't know if I'll ever be able to grow a plant by myself, but I'm hoping to learn. Because one thing the Lord has woke me up about is there's knowledge out there that you need for yourself. That someone else, yes, right now, we live in a microwave cell phone society. I'll just Google it. Whatever happens if the power goes out. <laughs> I'm not a... I, oh, what will the world come to an end kind of person, but I'm finding I miss the dime of my grandparents' generation where you just sit and talk and you just enjoy yourself. Family dinners, gardening, and you didn't have to depend on everything else in the world. The grocery store closed for a couple of days. It's all right. You had everything you needed at home. Bank didn't open for a couple of days. That's all right. You had everything you needed at home. And I'm finding myself I miss those times. I miss the time when life was simple. Before all the modern technology come really out. And when you just have time to say, God, what do I do today? It's been a fun day, an eye-opening day, interesting at the least. But that is one thing I hope to keep in mind every day, is to start my day saying, God, what would you have me to do today? Because that's my purpose in life. Credit cards, credit debt. Establishing credit, vehicles, all the things that we think we can't do without. 
The only thing we can't do without is our Lord and Savior and each other, believing in each other, knowing that no matter what tomorrow says or does, God's already there waiting on us to guide us, hoping that we will look at each other with trust and believe in each other and love each other. God bless.